it's Amber from The Sensible Mama and today I am so excited to do an overview and packing video of one of the newest diaper bags from one of the newest lines now available at thesensiblemama.com. If you follow me on Instagram or if you're at The Sensible Mama Chatterama, you know that I've spent the last couple of days at the ABC Expo in Las Vegas. This is a place where brands and retailers come together to form relationships and for retailers to bring awesome new brands to their stores. Um, and I gotta tell you, I was there uh, sitting in a little kiosk waiting for a meeting to happen and there was a booth right across from me that had these beautiful, beautiful diaper bags in it and I spent the whole meeting eyeballing this booth. Like I could, I could barely focus on this meeting because I wanted so bad to go over to this booth and check out the diaper bags. I have been looking for a leather diaper bag brand to carry for a really long time and I'm sure a lot of you know Lily Jade is not open to retailers at this time. So I've been really, really trying to find something that I felt was unique and different and wouldn't necessarily compete with Lily Jade, but would attract that same customer so that perhaps those of you who love Lily Jade but want something a little different might be interested in this bag line. So I will be making videos for the entire bag line, but today the one that I'm gonna show you to kind of introduce the brand to you is called the Linux. Before I get into the bag, there's a few things that I want you to know about the brand. This brand is actually based in the UK, and again, it's called Carry Kit. It's 100% leather, 100% beautiful, polished hardware on every single bag, and there are embellishments galore on everything. When I spoke to the owner of the brand, she let me know that she envisions her brand as being like the diaper bag that really seamlessly transitions between motherhood, regular woman lifestyle, and travel. So she created bags that you could use as diaper bags and purses and travel bags as well. And I think each one is just so smartly designed. In terms of price, I will get into all of that and you can check all of that out at thesensiblemama.com right now. I'll link it down below. But just keep in mind that the pricing is pretty similar to the Lily Jade pricing. So with all of that intro out of the way and to give one more caveat, I have allergies or a cold or something happening. So that's why I sound the way I sound. We're just gonna keep working through it. Let's dive right into this bag, which is the Linux in the beautiful sand color. So the Linux is a hobo style handbag. As you can see, I can lift this up and it just immediately hobos, which I love, love, love about this bag. I came home and unpacked my Ever Collection tote, which you know is a huge, huge tote style bag from Jujubee. And I got everything from my tote into this bag and I still have a little bit of room. So why don't I start by showing you all the features of this bag and then I'll get into how it's packed. The first thing that made me fall in love with this bag is that it does come with a short strap which is attached to gold D-rings right here on the side. So you can wear this over the shoulder and I will show you how it looks crossbody. And it makes a really nice kind of hobo style bag. But along with the bag, you also get a long strap, which I'll show you now. This is the long strap. It is full leather with a canvasy kind of stitching for comfort. And this attaches right here to the D-rings on the side. Now I will go ahead and say if you don't love this strap, um, you can definitely use any other messenger strap or seatbelt strap that you might have available. But I do want to point out that this is a really thick D-ring. Um, so you're going to need a little bit bigger of a clasp than what might come on your standard messenger straps. So here is the crossbody strap, which you can either leave attached or you can roll it up and put it in the bag. But I do think it's a really nice touch that this comes with the bag at the price point that you pay. And it's just, it's really nice to have that versatility. The Linux bag comes with these beautiful accessories, guys. They're so gorgeous. The first one is this um, long tassel. You see it's got a whole lot of different strands threads, I don't know what these are called actually, but I think it's a really beautiful touch. And attached to that, you also get a bag tag here. I'm actually thinking about once I get my HP sprocket, I'm gonna print like a two by three photo of my kids and put it in there. But you can also put your information, your contact info, a business card, um, anything that you'd like to slip in there. It does have a slip pocket here for doing that. But if you're not into that, this is removable, so you don't have to have this attached. And then the other thing that you have is just this really pretty carry kit embellishment here. It says carry kit on the leather right here. I guess it's embossed. Um, and it's just a really nice touch. It's like you have a lot of bangles hanging right here, which I think is beautiful. You can add a fob to this. You can add a pocket back hand sanitizer. It's just all clipped right here to the D-ring. 
you do have two insulated bottle pockets here on the side and you also have bottle pockets on the inside which I think is a nice touch so over here you can see I have my swell bottle and I've left my other bottle pocket open just because I do have my kids drinks on the inside of the bag now on the front you do have two pretty generous pockets right here they both have a tasseled zipper they unzip really really nicely um, and in here, I just have put my small set piece by Jujubee, which I use as my wallet. And I think the Versailles print looks so pretty with this bag. And then on the other side here, I just have some quick grab things like my gum and lip gloss and chapstick um, and some hauls. I'm sick. It's what you got to do. So those are pretty generous pockets, um, and I think that they look really nice from the outside. It's not so much looking like a mommy pocket on a diaper bag. Moving on to the back side of the bag, you do have a long zipper right here across the back. This is probably going to remind you guys of the tech pocket that you see on the Jujubee bags or the Itsy Ritzy bags. This is not a tech pocket. It does just have that kind of satin lining on the inside, but this is where I've been keeping my phone anyway. It's a great place to drop your keys or anything that you need to grab for quickly that you don't want to reach around to the front of your bag for. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the inside of the bag so that you can get an idea of how this packs up. I'm gonna tilt this over just to let you see everything on the inside. Like I said, um, I just was so excited to film this video that I just really quickly grabbed everything out of my Ever Collection tote and put it in here. And I gotta say, it, it packs just like the Ever Collection. And in fact, it reminds me a little bit of my Lily Jade Megan as well. It's very deep, very tall. And unlike the Lily Jade Megan, which has that insert, which I love Lily Jade, but I don't love that insert at all. This actually has its own internal organization, so you don't have to fool around with an insert. Now let me quickly go over the two other things that come included with this bag. So as you know, you get the short strap and the long crossbody strap included with your purchase. You also get a change pad and this really interesting multi-use pouch. So let me talk to you about those first. I'm going to set this aside. This is a huge change pad. Um, and it's got a snap here on the front. It's very, very thick and pretty generous. Like, I, I think that this would actually work for my toddler. Um, it's double-sided, fully wipeable. Um, you know, you guys, I think if you've been around a while, you know that I don't actually prefer the thick, bulky change pads. I know a lot of people do, so you might love this. But for me personally, I just prefer a trim, thin change pad that folds up really well. So I've actually removed this from my bag and I've replaced it with a 12 little change pad just because that seems to be what I'm using a lot these days. But you do get a nice change pad included with the bag. And then here is your multi-use pouch. It's got a really nice zipper on the front and a little pull tab. Um, it does not have D-rings for those of you that might ask. It's made from the same fabric and lining as the inside of the bag, which I think is really nice. It's not PUL lined, so this is not going to be a wet bag for you. And that's my one kind of drawback is I wish that this did have that PUL lining because it's the perfect size for a wet bag for sure. Um, but I think that you could use this for a number of things, whether you want to put snacks in here or perhaps cloth diapers. But because I just like, like I said, really quickly unpacked my Jujubee tote, I did not use this. I just used the pouches that I already had. But I think it's a really nice touch that you get a pouch, a change pad, and two straps with the purchase of this bag. Okay, so getting down to the internal parts of the bag, right here on the front there's a very long slip pocket and I'll show you all this once the bag is unpacked. I have in there my 12 little change pad which I told you I love. I also have a pouch made by Crafty She Designs and this is what I've been using to keep my kids toys in um, and I like having those two skinny things secured to the back of the bag inside of that long pocket so that they're not just like spilling out into my diaper bag. So here's how the bag looks after I took those two things out and I don't know if you can tell but this bag is so slouchy that when I turn it over it just wants to kind of slouch in on itself. That's the draw of real leather. It's so so buttery and slouchy. So in the internal kind of section of the bag, like not actually inside of any internal pockets, I have a Jujubee large set piece that's packed with changes of clothes for both of my kids, a medium set piece with mealtime stuff, so my replay silverware, um, as well as a straw topper from Go Silly. I have a replay snack pod in here that has dry snacks for my son, as well as a formula dispenser for my daughter. And all of that was just sitting down in the internal component of the bag, not inside of any of the internal structure. But if you see here, everything else is really nicely laid out inside of little pockets in the bag. Let me turn it this way so you can get a better idea. There we go. 
So like I mentioned, there are two internal bottle pockets. So in there I have a Pura stainless straw cup for my son and I have a bottle for my daughter as well. I will go ahead and say that the Como Tomo bottles, as round as they are up top, I had to work a little bit to get it into that pocket. But I do think that um, like my Avent bottles, Dr. Brown's bottles, those fit in there a lot better. But we happen to be using Como Tomo today, so that's I just wanted to point that out. The thicker bottles, you have to kind of work to get them in there. Okay, next in there, I have diapers for both of my kids. I have um, three size three cloth disposable diapers for my daughter, as well as three size six diapers for my son. And I wanna show you in here, again, I'll give you a better camera angle, but in front of this interior pocket here that I have my diapers inside of, there's a short pocket, and that's where I have slipped um, our Boudreaux's butt paste. My daughter is dealing with some diaper rash right now. And because of this little, little short slip pocket right here, it's a great place to put this where it stands upright and it's not tipping over and slipping around and you're worried about it squeezing and getting all over the inside of the bag. So like I said, I have my diapers for my son and I also have my white pouch 30 down in there as well. And that was everything that was inside of the bag. Here's a quick peek of how it looks with nothing inside of it. So now what I think I'm gonna do is take the camera off of the mount and get some close-up shots for you so you can see everything that's in here. And then of course, we'll go outside and do this on the body.